What's up? What's up, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter? Professor Prince of SoundCloud, SoundQuick. This message is going out to it's my new pillow. Oh, what? Oh, what? This message is going out to all the ABWs out there, the angry black women. Yo, uh, for one, angry black woman, or just black woman, you know, stop making it so hard for a man to love you, for a black man to love you. Stop looking at dark-skinned men and just crit, like hating them. There's a good chance your daddy's probably a dark-skinned man. Stop listening to society and gauging your feelings off of what society says instead of being real to yourself. Be real to you. If there is a man in your life who has clearly done you wrong, then that man done you wrong. The rest of us had nothing to do with it. If some guy did something to you when you were at a particular age, whether old, young, whatever. Don't start coming at other guys who are in that age bracket and saying, you are doing this. If you clearly have no evidence that that person is doing that, don't look at them, don't scowl at them in, in, in an accusatory fashion because they look like the dude who did something to you and whether, I don't care whether they gave you a butt whooping. I don't care if they, like, like especially those of you who have been molested. We are not all molesters. We, I don't, I have no idea what happened to you when you were a kid. I don't even know you. Like, I'm in a store, you're walking by, and I get the gas face because I am a dark-skinned man. And some guy did something to you who probably wasn't even dark-skinned. And and uh, 20 years ago, and now I did it too. So you're mad at me because <laughs> I don't even know. Like, I don't even know you. I don't know him. I'm sorry I wasn't there. We <sighs> Look, it's easy to do that. And, you know, I understand being angry. Look, I get that. My, my childhood wasn't easy. It just wasn't. You know, and there are some, <laughs> there are some adults, you know, who, you know, they was just wrong. Like, you know, I got my butt kicked. You know, I done got sat on. I done got locked up in the places. I'm telling you, I done, I was treated wrong. I done got some whoopings that I was like, what the hell? What? I was like, what Lord did I do? And I'm like 11, 12. I don't know what happened. I'm trying to, I'm, I don't know what happened. All I know is I am in severe pain and in need of to go to the hospital. So, uh, and from being from being hit with items that nobody should be hit with, like it's just crazy. So I get it. You know, people did things to me when I was younger and defenseless, and I could do nothing about it. I get that. And do I do, it, look, but what I did when I internalized what happened to me, I did not look at all people in that demographic and say, you know what? You do this too. You're at fault. You are at fault. And I was traumatized. And I still, I still remember the person who did that to me. I still remember his name. I remember his face. I remember the, the, the female who was involved. I remember the person who came and helped me out. I remember all three of those individuals. I remember them and I'm almost 50. I'm 48. I remember them. I remember their face. I remember the events. I remember them. So I know I've been traumatized. I know. And if I saw the guy who I had, who had done those things to me and I was not molested, I was not raped as a child, I was never molested or raped, so don't get that in your head. But if I saw this dude who put me in pain, hitting me and just, you know, it was a, a, an adult hitting, hitting me, hitting me. If I saw that dude today, I would probably beat the hell out of him. I would. And I'm only telling this on YouTube not because I'm trying to get some sympathy from you women. It's because I'm telling you that there are males 
who have gone through some traumatized uh, situation, and they're not, and it's not all rape. Like everybody thinks rape, but it's not, it has nothing to do with rape. But they have been done wrong by adults and put into bad situations, and they remember those people, but they don't say all people are like this. I don't go out and say all people are like that. I just don't. I've never done that. Never had. Now, do I feel sorry for that person if a truck hit that that bastard? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. I'm not one of those people who are super apologetic either. Oh, you know, God bless my bastard. Because if I saw you in the street, I would probably just, I'd probably catch a case. <laughs> I feel, Like, I feel you 100%. You want to go out and do something. Now, would I do it? I, I, I'm not sure. Because the way I feel about what happened, like... Yo, like, you know, you got to get your morals together with your common sense and do you want to lose your freedom? Like, that's how angry I am towards that person, but not towards every person. This is what I'm trying to tell you, black women. Cut that nonsense out because you are dividing the people who are supposed to be put on this earth to help you. If you had one person, your baby daddy did you wrong, that is your baby daddy. I don't know that black man or white man. I don't know who he was. I have nothing to do with him. I don't care if I am a spitting image of that dude. I did not do it. Get that through your thick heads. I don't put all black women in the same bracket. And I made plenty of videos of black women. You know, I talk about some of the stuff y'all did. But when I talk about them, I tell what happened between me and another individual. I don't say all black women. Now, the majority of y'all do some, you know what I'm saying, the majority of y'all that I know. And I always say that I know. Because I don't know every black woman. This is just impossible. Cut it out. You know, ladies, the black man is dying. We are being murdered in the streets from what? Child, from children? I mean, from our infants, from even before we get out of the womb. I mean, Planned Parenthood is just taking lives and they're taking numbers and they're taking names right now. They're taken before we even get out of the womb. Then when we hit, uh, then when we were infants, they're taking us. And then, you know, 12 years old, Tamir Rice. And then, you know, teen, there's another teenager who just got shot yesterday for, for carrying some drumsticks. He got shot in the stomach. They, the, the cops shot him. Then you got the, the children who are shooting children. Then you look, 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 people, look. We are in a state of emergency when it comes to our race. There is an all-out war out on our faces, and you are included. Stop thinking because you're hanging out with somebody who is not of our race that you are safe from what is happening to us. You are a part of us. I don't care if you don't like me. You don't have to like me, but don't dislike me simply because of the way I look. Look, you don't have to like me personally. I don't care about that. But don't go around hating us, hating black men when we've done nothing to you. That one black man that did something to you or those black men or whoever, they did that. In short, I'm not your enemy. I'm really not. But you really, really, really are making us your enemies. You really are. You're fighting against the only people who give a damn about you. Because I'm just going to say it. The other races don't care about you. If you can't get that through your head, then you need to turn on your television. And you need to see how they're shooting our old people. They're running, they ran over a little girl in, I don't know if it was Florida or whatever. They shot another little girl in the neck. They do not care about black women. 
You you really think because you date somebody outside of your race they, that they care like the whole the whole of them, all of them as a collective race care about you? That's what you think? Because you date this person and this person is a specific color or race that now everybody in that race gives a damn about you. That's what you think. And you no longer have anything to do with the race in which you came from. This is your delusion? That's sad. It's sad and it's dangerous. Because listen, it's all about to blow up in our faces. America is about to be a powder keg. It really is. And when it happens, you are going to get... Listen... Listen, those people loved Beyonce, but now look at them. They loved her until they found out she was black. <laughs> she got a wake-up call. You know, they went crazy because they, they finally found out Beyonce is a black woman. You know? It is what it is. I'm trying to tell you people. I'm trying to tell you black women. This face right here is not your enemy. And you don't have to like it. You don't have to like nothing over here. This, I'm not asking you to like me. I'm asking you to stop hating me for no reason. At least let me give you a reason. What, I, I, I stole your, your candy when you, were, when you were a kid? You know what I'm saying? What, what I do? I took your bicycle as <laughs> we were kids? Okay, you want to dislike me for that? Fine. But I do not know the majority of y'all. I have no idea who you are. Never did nothing to you. But you hate me. You hate the sight of my dark skin. And you wear the same dark skin. Hell, some of you are blacker than me. You hate me. You, duh, uh, if you could take, a, if you could, if you could erase me, if you could just take an eraser and just erase my whole existence, you would do it, black woman. You would erase every single black man on the planet if you could erase us. You would just die, bye, ah, uh, and you would be left by yourself because you think that somebody from another race is going to come and rescue you whenever you are in need of a black man. You're fooling yourself. You want to know where your help is? Right here. These arms. Right here. This mind. Right here. That's where your help is. You better start realizing that before it's too late. I'm out.